Hi, this week one of my clients was uh, a chap that did kickboxing and he also previously practiced the martial art of Kyokushin Karate, which is one of the more aggressive forms of karate. And when I checked out a couple of his videos on YouTube, uh, two things struck me. One is that they're both quite tough sports. And secondly, I noticed that uh, with the amount of kicking that's involved, uh, the foot comes under quite a lot of strain. And I thought one particular part of the body here, which is under um, high injury for risk, uh, high risk for injury, is the metatarsal. And the metatarsals are the long bones in the forefoot. And um, you can probably remember two incidents in recent history of the metatarsals being uh, in, in, in the popular news. Uh, both of those being. David Beckham and Wayne Rooney when these metatarsal fractures hindered their ability to perform at, uh, at, at major tournaments, I think it's the World Cup on both occasions. So the main injury which occurs at the metatarsal is a fracture, it can be an acute fracture or a stress fracture, and the latter, the stress fracture, tends to occur from repeated sustained stress. Now it's easy to identify an acute fracture because what will happen quite often It'll swell up quickly, bruising will occur and it'll be very difficult to walk on it as opposed to the stress fracture which just takes place over time and it feels like pain in the foot and um, warning signs that potentially a fracture there is there is that it gets harder to walk and also pain at rest becomes greater. So that's why it's important to get onto it quickly, get it checked out because the stress fracture does take longer to heal because it needs time to rest and then time to get back into the sport without aggravating it and potentially having the same effect as what brought about the fracture in the first place. So whether you're a jumper, a runner, a rugby player or a dancer, think if you've got pain in the forefoot, is it a stress fracture, get to your physiotherapist, they can tell within a couple of treatments, if not immediately, whether it's something that's going to improve quickly or whether it's going to require a scan to confirm the presence of stress fracture. I hope that's useful. Please watch again next week.